the next topic is a plant plant is also an enterprise structure the top level of enterprise structure is the company code and right next underneath it is the plant so we have a coffee company in chicago and we have a plant say 1000 south michigan avenue blah 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 and this is the plant where we manufacture our pastry where we store our goods so on and so forth now how do you create a plant under enterprise structure instead of going to financial accounting go to logistics general and again same thing don't try to create one instead copy from an existing plant so click on define copy delete check plant and then click on copy delete check plant and in this pop-up select a source this could be any plant under you know your regular company code 3000 3100 3200 any of those and then i want to create the plant as chi1 just to show that it's a plant in chicago so let's do it in sap so company code is done i'm going to close that go to logistics general click on define copy delete check plant click on copy delete check and click choose or you can just double click this and as usual you click on the second button the copy button and again if you look at the left bottom corner SAP is reading a whole bunch of tables to get you the template of a plant so what's the source here the source I said is 3100 or if you want to choose another plant you can do it but like I said in a real project you're going to choose a plant of 0001 and the two plant is chicago one c h i one remember this is alphanumeric so you can have 0001 or something like that but since they are already taken so if you go there and click on the pop-up and click ok so there are so many different plants already created so 001 is taken, 005 is taken. So anything that's not taken, you can use it. So I'm going to close this and say CHA1 for a Chicago plant and click OK. And as usual, you're going to get a bunch of messages, ignore them. and we're going to create a new request for this at this point what sap is saying is you can choose to tag the change that you've just done to this request or you can create your own now if you want to keep things clean you could have separate customizing requests for each logical set of operation so if you are trying to create a company code have one transport request for that and if you want to create a new plant say create new plant CHA1 and click save you don't need to do it you could tag this change along with the previous transport request but anyway since we are doing it for the first time try and practice to create new transport requests and click OK so it says plant 3100 copied to CHI1 without number ranges that's fine just click OK and you're done 